had a dream. And that dream told 12-year-old Sienna Lear what to do. By the mailboxes, there was a small boy who looked to have blonde hair walking. And I watched him until he got past the cars where I couldn't see him anymore. Sienna held him the whole time that he was with us. Two and a half hours, I think. And he slept on her lap until uh, DFS finally came after the deputies were not, not able to find his family. Authorities went door to door trying to find the little boy's relatives, but it wasn't until shortly before 4 a.m. when the mother made a 911 call that they were able to find the boy's home. Uh, dispatch received a 911 call from the uh, mother of the missing child, and at that point we were able to confirm that she was the mother, and Children's Division will make the decision on when the child goes back. Sheriff White says the mother left the boy in the care of a 13-year-old before going out shopping with a friend around 10 p.m. She didn't return until almost 4 in the morning. The boy was placed with the Children's Division pending investigation, but White says he was fully dressed and in good condition when he was found. There were no signs of abuse. He was simply cold. Completely dressed. Uh, the deputies checked him over. We kind of looked him over a little bit and, and there were no bruises. He looked to be well fed. So yeah, he looked to be in very good shape. Sheriff White says he won't know if they will press charges on any of the involved parties until after the investigation is complete. Juliet Dreyer, KRCG 13 News, Jefferson City.